There's been a lot of talk recently since YouTube announced several days ago their new terms of service and changes to their service agreement. Although we all complain about YouTube and know the games that they're playing, we all, myself included, are using this platform to get our word out, to get our message across. Before I go into some other very interesting numbers and information and facts as to what YouTube is doing compared to what you could be doing on your own with your own website, I just want to go over a few nuggets that I highlighted in YouTube's new service agreement. Based on these new terms of service, which will go into effect December 10th of this year, I'm assuming that about 80% of the content providers from YouTube will be gone. Now here it says that the service allows you to discover, watch, and share videos and other content. Uh-uh-uh, not so fast. If you go down and read further, the following restrictions apply, not may apply, but apply to your use of service. You are not allowed to access, reproduce, download, distribute, transmit, broadcast, display, sell, license, alter, modify, or otherwise use any part of the service or any content except as expressly authorized by the service or with prior written permission from YouTube, not the content provider, but from YouTube, if applicable. Now here's a contradiction in the new terms. It states that you must be at least 13 years old to use the service. Then it goes on to say, if you are under 18, you represent that you have your parent or guardian's permission to use the service. So which is it? Then it goes on to say, under your use of the service, content is the responsibility of the person or entity that provides it to the service. YouTube is under no obligation to host or serve content. If you see any content you believe does not comply with this agreement, including by violation of community guidelines or the law, you can report this to us. Now, what is the threshold? Does it take just one report for them to issue a strike against your video or your channel? How many complaints or reports does it take for YouTube to take action against you. It doesn't say. It further goes on to explain that misuse of any reporting, flagging, complaint, dispute, or appeals process, including by making groundless, um, vexatious, or frivolous submissions are restricted. Now, we all know that this has been a problem on YouTube um, going on for many years now, and it's gotten exponentially worse since Google took over this service. We this section of the changes to the, uh, to the service goes on to state that YouTube is constantly changing and improving the service. We may also need to alter or discontinue the service or any part of it in order to make performance or security improvements, change functionality and features, make changes to comply with law or prevent illegal activities or abuse to our systems. Abuse is not defined. Okay, these changes may affect all users, some users, or even an individual user. Wherever reasonably possible, we will provide notice when we discontinue or make material changes to our service that will have an adverse impact on the use of our service. However, you understand and agree that there will be times when we make such changes without notice, such as where we feel we need to take action to improve the security and operability of our service, prevent abuse against, again, that is not defined, or comply with legal re requirements. And the legal requirements aspect is also a very vague terminology thrown about this new terms of service agreement. So not everybody or anybody may be able to have the ability to use the service. It says, if you have a YouTube channel, you may be able to upload content to the service. For example, the content you submit must not include third-party intellectual property unless you have the permission from that party or are otherwise legal, legally entitled to do so. So I guess this kind of means that Creative Commons is out the window 
Creative Commons allows um, a content provider to automatically allow others to share and upload their videos or content to their channels. So based on this particular aspect of the new end user agreement states otherwise. And it goes on to say that we may use automated uh, systems that analyze your content to help detect infringement and abuse. There's that word abuse again. By providing content to the service, you grant to YouTube a worldwide, non-exclusive, royalty-free, sub-licensable, and transferable license to use that content, your content, in connection with the service and that includes to reproduce distribute um, prepare derivative works um, display and performance so in other words YouTube can use your content in violation of its its own terms of agreement for sharing uploading third-party content redistribution and republication of intellectual property, etc., but you cannot. Although this has been going on for some time now, uh, YouTube, I guess, felt the need to reiterate this, and, th and that is, if we reasonably believe that any content is in breach of this agreement or may cause, cause harm to YouTube, our users, or third parties, we may remove or take down that content at our discretion. Well, they've been doing that for some time. Also, keep in mind that when YouTube removes a video that you've published, say that video had 100,000 views. If YouTube takes that video down, your channel view, view count goes down by 100,000 views. I know they've done this to me several times. YouTube may terminate your access or your Google accounts access to all are part of the service if YouTube believes in its sole discretion that provision of the service to you is no longer commercially viable. Wow, that's a loaded statement. Remember, as I just mentioned, um, if you have uh, videos taken, a video taken down, let's say, and it had 100,000 views on it, you lose that 100,000 views in your channel analytics. So what I've been able to ascertain is that if your channel or your video, I'm not sure which because I can't find the article now, has less than 5,000 views per channel or 1,000 views for the video, you're no longer deemed commercially viable. So what happens now if YouTube starts taking down content providers that don't have that many views. Well, as you can see, this has a domino effect. So, you know, if they take down this video and that video and, you know, some other content that you've posted to YouTube, now your channel viability goes way down and you may no longer be deemed commercially viable. Now let's look at the provision that YouTube bestows on us to be able to make money from our content so let's say i would say the average click through on ads or you know the ad revenue based on view counts of your video is probably and i'm being generous here about one penny probably even less than the ad revenue that is being paid by the advertiser so when you allow ads on your videos, the advertiser is getting exposure based on the content that you're providing and based on the views that you're getting on that content. My question is how much is, is Google and YouTube making on this service? How much of that revenue that you're getting is actually going into the pockets of Google and YouTube? I tried to do a search on this and couldn't find any information. Under notice of termination or suspension, it goes on to explain that we will notify you with the reason for termination or suspension by YouTube unless we reasonably, reasonably believe that to do so would violate the law or the direction of a legal enforcement authority or would otherwise risk legal liability for YouTube or our affiliates. But wait a minute, 
didn't earlier in this agreement, didn't it state that you are solely responsible, you, the content provider, for the content provided, for any liability, blah, 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 would compromise an investigation or the integrity or operation of the service or last would cause harm to any user, other third party, YouTube or our affiliates. Now that is a highly subjective statement. What constitutes causes harm to someone else? Certainly they're not talking about harm caused by the content providers on channels stricken or videos removed. If this statement is true, to the extent permitted by applicable law, you agree to defend, indemnify, and hold harmless YouTube, its affiliates, officers, directors, employees, and agents from and against any and all claims, damages, obligations, losses, liabilities, cost or debt, and expenses. If this is true, then why would YouTube then be taking down content and, cha and channels? And last but not least, in these terms, they go on to explain that the word, wherever you see the word include or including, means including but not limited to. The way I interpret this is that this agreement does not constitute the entire agreement. And what this says to me is that YouTube can change, or I should say add to, its guidelines, restrictions, and compliance criteria at any time it sees fit for whatever reason and whenever it chooses to do so in that it serves their purpose. Let me just show you something here. This one report that I did two years ago, Binary DNA and the Coming Merger of Man and Machine, two years, it got 921 views on YouTube. And if we go over here to my website, in a lesser period of time, it got over 2,000 views. How about this report I did on 5G weaponized frequencies? Did this report two years ago on YouTube, it got 4.8, almost 5,000 views. If we go over here to my website, that same video got over 12,000 views. And this just goes on and on. Now, if I go over to the analytics for my channel uh, for the month of October, it shows that my channels had 594 views. Hmm, down 30%. However, if you go over to my website, the back end of my website that tracks number of visits or visitors, I not only have 4,400 unique visitors to the site during that same period, right here, October 2019, but I have 15,000 visits with 71,000 pages visited and 146,000 hits to the site. How could there be such a discrepancy? I mean, YouTube is definitely a larger platform than my little Level 9 News website. Now, here's another interesting anomaly I want to share with you. I have about 123 videos posted on YouTube, yet with the exception of a couple of the recent videos I've posted, none of my videos except for this one here has received any views, any comments, any likes, any dislikes, nothing for the past two years. Look at this, nothing. Now several of my uh, subscribers have pointed this out to me and to tell you the truth, I really don't follow my YouTube analytics that much because I don't hold a whole lot of credence in that platform in this platform that we're using. Unfortunately, it's one of the only games in town to get messages out, unless of course your channel is deleted or your videos are censored. Now, I've known for quite some time that my channel and my reports have been being shadow banned. My reports don't show up as recommended. They don't show up in feeds. 
my videos don't show up on keyword searches, nothing. And here's proof. I mean, look at this. I have 123 videos on YouTube, yet this is the only one that is getting any type of interaction whatsoever. Can anyone explain this? Just to compare and contrast, I have over 300 reports posted to Level 9 News, level9news.com, and I'm getting way more views on the videos posted on my website that I'm getting from YouTube. So therefore, consequently, I'm probably going to be one of those channels that is gone within the next year off the YouTube platform. I'm not a viable commercial product. Of course not, because they're censoring everything I write and post. As Sun Tzu said in his book, The Art of War, and I'm paraphrasing here, in order to defeat the enemy, you must use their tools and strategy against them. This is what I recommend. Start using this platform while you still have it to promote your websites, your blogs, your Twitter, anywhere outside this platform where you're posting stories, videos, topics, opinions, and information. Use this platform to redirect people to those platforms, your platform, my platform. We need to start using the tactics and strategies they're using against us, against them. Promote yourself. Don't promote the advertisers, don't promote Google, or don't line the pockets of YouTube if you, like I do, um, allow advertisements on your videos. If you would like to support my efforts and the efforts of the Level 9 News in exposing the assaults on humanity, I would urge you to go to my site and subscribe. If you subscribe there, you'll not only be able to comment and generate dialogue on any of these reports, any of these over 300 reports that I have on that site, but you will also be able to participate in and create your own forums of discussion on Level 9 News. Thank you for watching and please share this video.